Well, hello, 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 everybody. The name is Falconize, and welcome back to Finding Paradise. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so, uh, last time we get uh, we had something interesting to say the least, <laughs> because we had a game inside a game, and uh, now Faye is uh, she is mm, as far as we know she is actually a, a, a not real. But, uh, because, you know, we find out that there's no data of such Faye in our database, so, uh, maybe she has something, some secrets behind her, I don't know, but anyway, so, uh, let's just, let's just get straight to it, <laughs> I just, I just can't wait. Okay, I guess not exactly a journal after all. Huh, okay, uh, what a detour. Indeed, what a detour. Sheesh, are they just spreading hibiscus seeds wherever they go? Oh, because that's our memento! Right, let's go. Yes, let's prepare it. So, I don't know what to expect on this episode, but I'm feeling like we kind of getting closer to the end. Well, why? 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 How? <laughs> um... Oh, there we go. Jeez, that took longer than I expected. <laughs> Finally, anyway. Let's continue. Oh. What happened? Okay. Picking up iterative data for applied section. Selection. Data backup complete and stored to repository. What are you doing? Huh. I don't know, but anyway. Let's moving on, let's try to find out what's happening. Mm. Mm. That took a while. Weren't you right behind me? Eh, I just had to clean up that mess back there. Oh. Alright. It's, it's only a hologram, you know, just don't worry. <laughs> Well, let's go and see what we find at the vortex of all this. I have a guess. Ah, okay. Well, here's another one of these. Hmm. Didn't exactly stick that soft field landing, huh? Not like I had much practice on an actual grass strip. At least you're safe. Uh, burp. So, uh, you think this is a case of schizophrenia? Well, with that, the patient usually has trouble actively distinguishing delusion from reality. But in this case, I get the feeling that he's actually well aware of it. Still, can't say for certain, but I'm leaning towards some kind of defense mechanism instead. The more curious question is how she is able to materialize here so vividly. You think she's still able to, uh, see us? Hard to say, but she shouldn't be able to interfere for now, at least. This seems to be just a normal memory playback. Oh, okay. So, uh, the plane? Something now? Okay. So I guess let's just move forward. What you waiting for? Come on! Haven't you ever heard of the phrase stop and smell the roses? There are flowers on the top on top of the hill too, you know? I'll raise you there. Alright. Huh, interesting. But uh yeah, last time we got a uh, pretty a uh, a pretty interesting eh? <laughs> turn of event. Hey, I was thinking, it's a little windy today. Maybe we should come back some other time instead. Oh, don't be such a downer. We are practically already there. Hey, remember when we played Catch Me If You Can? Come on. I guess that's not really the time to do this. <laughs> the wind. It wasn't there a moment ago. I mean, it should be nice, isn't it? Having a wind on the top of a hill like this. Does you know it's feel breezy? <laughs> okay, what is the matter now? 
Let's just rest here for a while. Again? You barely walked any steps. Hey, I'm the one who has to carry this thing uphill. Yes, woman! <laughs> can, she, can she not see? I, This Colin guy uh, bringing this huge uh, giant cello with him and walking uphill. <laughs> like, come on, give him some break. You know? Oh, boy. Oh, I just thought you'd have gotten stronger by now. That's all. Ooh! <laughs> what? So you said I'm weak? No, <laughs> it's... Uh, I mean, technically you should be, you know, carrying a cello all over the place and walk uphill as well, you know, at least those muscles are getting a little bit buffer, but I don't know. <laughs> the cello got bigger too, you know. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> Just come and sit here with me for a bit, will you? Do you remember the first time we came here? Which first time? The second one, I guess. The one where I tried to race you up the hill. Oh yeah, that was a dumb move. <laughs> really, woman? <laughs> you, were sh you sure were excited to take me up there, though. Yeah, it had been a while since I took anyone there. It's still one of my favorite places. I've always liked how it overlooked the city. It really has been a while, hasn't it? I rather miss going there. So why are you hesitating? Hmm? We're mere steps away from there, you know? Why are you stopping every step along the way? Hmm. Stop kidding yourself, Colin. You're not tired, and it's not the wind. We've already come so far. You know as well as I what we have to do. All right. All right, anyway, let's just go upstairs again. Go uphill, see what we find there. You guys duetting again? Ah, oh, that is so good. The first time we came here, that was the first time I accompanied you to play the scales too, wasn't it? Yeah, it helped. It still does, actually. Well, no one likes to practice scales alone. That is true, I guess. You know, it's kinda boring. <laughs> but you could never actually hear what I was playing, could you? Some CG action as well. It's nice up there today. It always is. You don't have the leaf anymore. I can fly now. Wherever you go, I can go with you. You really are stubborn, aren't you? Don't you think you're getting a bit too old for me to stay? People would laugh at you if they knew. They can laugh all they want. I don't care. You made me who, who I am today. I learned to fly because of you. I kept playing the cello because of you. You taught me to practice the skills. No, Colin. I cannot teach you anything you don't know. Nor... Can I make you do anything you don't want? That's a sailor in the sky. Maybe all you really wanted was for someone to be there. Even if it's just someone like me. It's... Uh, mm, I think I know where this is gonna go. I know it's mesmerizing here, Colin. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. 
you think you are forgetting what actually is and all that could be? It's a plane? The cloud? Sometimes, stepping out of this little world we've made is the only way to notice and appreciate all the beautiful things all around you. I just don't want to be alone. Sure, if I go, you'll be alone at times, even when you don't want to be. But that's all a, that, but that's all a part of growing up, and it's all a part of life. It's what makes fleeting moments with loved one tre one's treasured, and our memories pre precious. It's also what drives you to seek out what you wouldn't find if you just stayed here with me. There's a lot out there just waiting for you, Colin. I can't promise it'll always be good, but... I know you won't find all that you need, living only in these pages of ours. You brought me into this world, I won't forget that. And while some things are meant to stay, some are only meant to carry you so far. That is really true. Dang, what a life quote right there. <laughs> oh god, this Yeah, I think I think I get it what is what is happening here. So uh for for those of you who don't really get it what's happening, so uh, Faye is actually she is not real. That's that's one. And she is Colin's imaginary friend. That's why she said uh, after when when they do the duet, and she she said that you actually cannot hear what I am playing, right? You know that that's that alone is already kind of like hinting that it's actually Colin is there, but he cannot he, what is it? He cannot hear what Faye is playing, and um, uh, he, yeah. It's just, yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah, Faye is Colin's imaginary friend. <sighs> so, and then this discussion as well that she thankful for uh, Colin to brought her here is because Colin's make her inside his head. And, uh... And, and all the, uh, the discussion is really kind of uh, obvious from this point out that Faye is actually a his imaginary friend and you know it's about time that Colin uh, step forward step moving move forward and leaving this so-called imaginary friends alone because it's it's not like what he's supposed to do right now so uh, yeah it's it's really tough. In my own way, you know I will always be there to protect you. And whatever comes, if it's something we could do, then it's something you could do. What do you say, Colin? Are you ready? Yeah, are you ready to step forward and leave me alone and not just, yeah, leave me? That sudden realization. I don't know. I don't think I'm ready for it to end. I don't care what you are or aren't. You were my first real friend. Yeah, because we from from the previous episode on this game, we do learn that Colin is actually a, a very lonely person because you know his parent is when abroad and working outside a town or outside the city and stuff, and he's just alone in the house and he doesn't even have any friends on the school. So, dang. so that's why he kind of make this imaginary friend inside of his head to kind of you know uh, so that he uh, he is not alone he, he doesn't want uh, he doesn't so that he doesn't feel alone oh my god super sad <laughs> really oh my god this is really sad 
Hey, this doesn't have to be the end for us. One day, you might look back and realize how fast this precious life has passed you by. And on that day, I'll come back once more. We'll talk like how we used to talk, and you'll tell me about your day. No, about your life. You'll tell me about that what a happy life you've had, and all the nice memories you've made. I might not have such a happy life, you know. You're such a downer, you know that. Have a little faith in yourself, Colin. Of course you will. I know you will. It may take a long time, and it may take a lot of work and effort. But when that day comes, I know you will have lots of happy memories to share. Ah, it's almost time. How much have you written in that book by now? You've replaced its pages so many times, huh? I must talk a lot. Sorry about that. But now that I'm going, perhaps you could finally spare more pages for other things. It's your book. You don't have to always write about me anymore. It's just like life, right? Same book, filled with all kinds of different pages, as it should be. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. All right. Hey. I still haven't said goodbye yet. You already have, Colin. Oh, she has wings. Oh, look at that. Oh, so sad. A long, long time ago. Yep. <sighs> and then he writes that. So yeah. So now I get it. Was that was the book? Was that book is for? So he just he is kind of like making a novel, kind of. Because you know, there's nobody there. Like, uh, Faye is not real. Uh, he's uh, she is only real on Colin's head. So he just write down that kind of like what happened in his mind on the book. So, uh, yeah, I think he do that just to kind of remember what happened. All this time, maybe I don't know. I'm not sure, but yeah, you got you guys got the idea. She never came back, did she? Guess not. I wonder if she is a cause or an effect. Hmm. As in, do you think Colin's unhappy because she never came back again? If Colin if Colin only wanted to see her again, I doubt he would have needed to call us. That is true, though, to be honest, because he he can just start making it up again on his head, and he will definitely see her, like right away, right? I mean, I'm in no position of <laughs> telling you guys this, but I never had this kind of imaginary friend experience before, but uh, so that's why I don't really know about all of this thing. So, uh, yeah. It's hard, man. It's hard being lonely like this, es especially since you were a kid. You're just a kid. You just you were alone, and your parents just went away, like working. And then even at the school, like where you pretty much making your friend, making a friend on there, and you just don't have any friend right there as well, which is super sad. It's really tough childhood. Yeah. So perhaps her absence at the end meant that he was already unhappy by then. Back to square one. Ah. Oh. This place is destabilizing again. We don't have much time left. Let's move. We have to make do with what we have. Oh, okay, it's time to move. Alright. Wait, do we even know what we are doing with him yet? 
I have a few ideas to try, but we still need to link the mementos first. Let's get back to the upper world and figure things out while we do that. Alright. Okay. So I guess we, it's time to do connecting the dot. Uh, what the heck? Uh oh. Oh, uh, what the. Well then, that escalated quickly. <laughs> In my own way, I will always be there to protect you. That is Faye, right? Yeah, here we go again. Back to the flying head. Alright, I guess we need to do all of this. Connecting all of this mementos. Neil, what's taking you so long? Oh. This place is falling apart. There's no time to wait for him. Okay, so... Um... I don't know what do you have. Well, I guess the paper plane. Let's just try with that. Uh huh. Got it. So this one is the hibiscus. Got it. That's the book. And now this is the setup. Well, that was easy compared to the to the moon. <laughs> oh, the other one is way more confusing. I think that's all of them. But ah, uh, don't wait. Oh, mm -mm. well. Oh. That's a paper airplane. What's that? I. Huh. Okay. What's happening? Ooh. What is this place? What is this place? Called it. <laughs> okay. So I just need to stand there? Huh. It's all the memories. With Sophia now, though. His memories, they are falling apart. Huh. But in the blink of an eye, suddenly, there's no more time. And I find myself here, just like everyone else. I just want to feel like I've done enough in this world before I go, you know? That's why we are here, Colin. Tell us your regrets. What is it that you want to want us to fix? Huh. I want you to make me live that fulfilling life without changing anything I've been through. That's a really tough uh, stuff to do, though. Call them. But when you go through the procedure and live that new life, just hold on to something from here. It's not like that, Mia. I won't forget about you. We only have so little time in this life, and we'd never be able to do all that we want. No matter what we do, there'd always be other things we'd want to try, other paths to take. Hmm. There's all his memories from before. <laughs> Did it spill on your dress? Hey, just one more excuse to jump into the lagoon. You know, we don't have to waste all that lemon juice. Have you ever tried writing with it? Lemon juice? No. Why? <laughs> then prepare to be mind blown by some elementary school magic. Get this, it's invisible ink. Invisible ink? The writing appears in color when only when you when you heat the paper up. Come on, I'll show you. Let's write something with it. Really? I kinda want to try it out. <laughs> it's been a while since I've written. 
Well, never too late to start again. How about a letter? To who? Each other, of course. We, we could write about this trip. It's been kind of a journey, hasn't it? And at the end of it, we could show each other what we wrote of it all. Hmm. Why was this not a part of that memory earlier? Yeah, that is true. They didn't discuss this on previous stuff. Okay, um... Why would you ever con- Why would you even consider? Why would you toss aside everything we have for something make-believe? I'm not tossing anything aside. Huh. Okay, so I guess this. We all have regrets, be it righting a wrong or a dream long past. At Sigmund Carp, we give you that second chance to make things right. Because with our help, it's never too late. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Wait, this don't seem like just randomly scattered memories. Could it be that the sedative's wearing off? Hmm. Let's see. You are different, even from the man you were when I first met you. You are no longer aloof, you know. When you were here, you are actually here. Oh, it's... Uh, yeah, now I get it. So, before he... I guess Colin keep remembering Faye. So that that's why Sophia kind of like saying this. You are no longer aloof. When you were here, you are actually here. Okay. Dang. Okay. So you're writing that uh, book again regarding we regarding you between you and the Faye. I know it's mesmerizing here. Faye spoke after a pause, shifting her gaze back up to the sky. But you've been spending so much time with me and imagining what couldn't be. Dang, he could be a writer though with this. <laughs> really, he, he can be a writer. Like, even if, if the pilot things doesn't go well, you can just switch it to a writer. Like, this this alone, this sentence alone is already uh, a, uh, a top seller, best seller book worthy already. Don't you think you're forgetting what actually is and that and all that could be? Okay. Okay, look, I got it. I got your message, yeah, hear me? I know you're still here. You can come and get me now. Is Faye again? Dang it, I really thought it was her. Oh. Oh, wait, is that really the only way to... <laughs> oh, hell no! <laughs> Oh, Neil, I love him. Alright, so we back at this place again. The final boss. Oh. <laughs> well done, shielding. Where the hay have you been? I figured it out, Eva. I figured out the impossible. I mean, it took an unholy amount of spoon feeding, but... I guess that's what it takes when we're on the inside of it. What are you talking about? Yes, just what are you talking about? Uh-oh. Okay. The sedative. It wore off already? You don't sound too happy about it. We're here to help Colin, and you're the mental process that's in the way. Well, lucky for you, that can be amended now, can it? So, looks like we're about, we about out of time. If you're going to erase me for good, you might as well hurry. No, we're not going to erase you. Oh. I mean that's that's your that's you guys you guys that's you guys plans right? We're going to erase us. Oh. Wait, what? Colin never needed our service, Eva. He already had her. 
Huh. The ability to change this reality, to live in a different world. One that filled with the gaps of what he wanted, all in his head. She is what we do, Eva. Huh. And yet, she left. She left, which could have only meant one thing. What? What you're trying to imply? No, that cannot be right. What we do is different from just this. How is it different? We... Because there's more to it. There's more to what we do. We fulfill wishes. We give meaning to people's lives. What we do, it has to be more than just that of an imaginary friend. It's a lot more elaborate, for sure. But for someone who had to fight just to let go of fantasy and embrace reality, maybe our existence was merely an unwelcomed amplifier. A reminder of the make-believe, the imaginary. Ooh, that puts a perspective right there. Ooh, that is really true. Because this is their job. Their job is pretty much become people's imaginary friend to make things happen, you know? The, the, the make believe to make uh, to make things make believe. I don't know what else to say. Oh my god, this is oh my god. Yes, yes, yeah, I get it. And the endless possibilities that make reality seem less than what it is. Hey, you two. Things aren't looking good with the patient. I don't know what you're up to, but you might want to get out of there. And by might wanna, I mean need to. After all that, huh? I guess none of this even matters anymore. There's no way we'd still have the time to implement any actual changes. No, we might not have the time. But what about her? She's already linked to the machine's interface, right? Without us, all procedures would be internalized. So much could be done in a fraction of a moment. You were... Suggesting giving solo control of the machine to a mental process of the patient? The ethical implications of that, it hasn't been done for good reasons. It hasn't been done because no patient has had a chance like this. Besides, what's our alternative? Just leave and mark this as a write-off? But what about legal complications and the contract it says? Oh, come on, Eva. When has the contract stopped us? I guess so. Uh, guys. Go on, I'll be right behind. Don't say I never trust you. Alright. So, you gonna give Faye the administrator control or something? Why are you doing this for us? Well, if I were calling in on my last breath, i trust you over two strangers in white coats, right? Strangers, huh? Your colleague was right about one thing. There is more to what you do than just playing God with people's memories. You've been here for just a day, yet... In all of his lifetime, no one else has truly seen the world through his eyes like you have. And well, you're kind of the first I've been able to meet you. In some silly way, maybe that's a part of what Colin really wished for. Maybe Colin wanted Faye to have a friend. That's why he calls us so that we can dive into his memories and not to change anything so that these guys can meet Faye and Faye can meet these guys so that they can be friends oh maybe
maybe that's why. That's his why he wants a fulfilling life because maybe he wants some friends for Faye. Oh gosh. Maybe or maybe I'm just overthinking, but that's what I'm getting at this moment. It was one half a one heck of a meet and greet, that's for sure. Full admin access transferred to unknown Cradle Fay. You gonna be alright? Just a little nervous, I guess. Well, given the circumstances, I'd say that's pretty alright. Hey. Do you think that in some ways I've truly existed? Well, for what it's worth, I think all our memories and everything in it can be nothing but the fiction we tell ourselves. Good luck out there. Colin's counting on you. So what are you gonna do now, Faye? So what is it? <clears throat> what are you gonna do now? Oh gosh, this is <sighs> Dang. His blood pressure is dropping. Final signs are fading fast. I think he's letting go. No. Dang. I'm sorry for your loss. Please take all the time you need. I'll be in the living room with the paperwork. When they are ready, I'll let them know. Dang. Really? Always a little stark, isn't it? Seeing it like this, after just having been in there. Eh, it is what it is. I'm just a little cold. It felt warmer in there. Oh my god. What we did back there, do you know if it worked? Hard to say. I'll try to dig through the data afterward, but... Well... It's never been done like this before. I don't know how coherent it, it would be. Guess we got another mess of a report to write. We can take care of that when the dust settles. In the meantime, I just remembered something. Yeah, the book. Now we can... Uh, we, we got to see what's inside the book. So, did you succeed? There was a complication. We tried to cope with something unorthodox, but... I'm not sure if we'll ever know what really happened in those last moments. Hey, Sophia said you got a lighter. Uh, yeah? Yeah, now we get to see what's inside the book. There's the lemon juice. Oh my 
my god Laura I know it's gonna be Laura Don't do this to me I never Yep, I knew it <laughs> very Yeah, look at him Look at him Just I think my voice was fairly small But there were times I'd want to shout Though my thoughts weren't sorted out So I'd stumble and I'd fall I learned oh, he awake. because of you So if you like Yeah, look at that He's just writing there And uh, uh, Those Yeah So those are what happened. Is it only green in my mind? I'd still want it the same because trading by yesterday is to wish my life away. Sigmund Carp is deleted. It's for the better for all of them, really. I know the feels are about to come, but uh, dang, that's a really tough one. Ooh. <sighs> ah, gosh. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's it's even what what he did, everything like he he really is actually living his uh, life in a uh, fulfillment sense, but he doesn't feel like he did. Uh, he did. He did that. You know, there, there's something missing in him. Even though he already did all of this, you know, become a pilot and be successful, and stuff. Oh, there she is. Looking for something, old timer. Dang! After all this time, finally they met again. Oh my god, so sad. It's been a while, huh? A long while. <laughs> you haven't changed much. And whose fault is that now? Oh. 
Listen, I wish it were under better circumstances, but... I know. I wish I still had the time to tell you about all that's happened since then. It's okay. I was there. I'm only here to say goodbye. Just tell me one thing, though. Do you still have any regrets? Regrets? Yeah, I have a lot of those. But that's okay. The chances I missed, the mishaps, and all that I wish I had. Well, they were all still a part of it. They made way for all that I do have. And what I do have, I wouldn't trade for anything else in the world. That's all I wish to hear. <laughs> Go on, they are waiting for you. It's time to go home. <laughs> hey, Colin. Sorry, I had to leave back then. Thank you for having been there. Even when nobody else was... Ah, uh, it just hits me now. It's... Fa uh, you... Okay, <laughs> hold on. If you, wa if you watch the... Or maybe played a little... A bird story... You know. Faye is actually the bird. Is the personification of that. Don't do this, don't, just, don't. <laughs> they did the same thing. Dang it, can't go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's rough. That's rough. <sighs> I'm trying so hard not to cry. Oh god. <sighs> and gosh darn it, Laura, she cared as well. Ah, you always, always, always. <laughs> oh, make me cry with your music, with, the, with your song. <laughs> What a story, what a story, what a story. Whew. Okay, let's let's just <laughs> take some time for now. Whew. That's rough, man, that's rough. That's really rough. Yeah. So we can safely say that the book is actually his friend. You know, with all of this happened. So that's why as that's why as well they kinda keep showing Faye in wherever Colin go, you know? There's Faye again and nobody seems to notice her at all. So uh Yeah, it, it does make sense now that the the, the that Faye is actually the personification of the bird because uh the, the last time when Faye said that say goodbye and stuff and the, the screen goes fades fades to black and stuff we heard the bird flying sound so it's kind of like yeah this kind of that story I guess so uh... oh it does make sense everything now because on the bird story uh, I, I I don't want to say it but I kind of need to <laughs> But anyway, uh, uh, at the at, at story, we finish at the Collins 
I, I'm not too sure. I think it's still in his childhood. But then he kind of the bird is uh, something happens with the bird, and then and then the bird kind of went away from from Colin. So that's we can safely say that actually the uh, that that Faye is actually already gone. He. Uh, yeah, Faye already gone by that time, and even Faye herself said uh, that he that Colin already said goodbye a long time ago. It's when that happened, when when Colin's still a kid, and the bird is finally kind of get released from him or something. So, uh, and now the bird visiting him back when he's old for the last time. All right, I'm okay now. <laughs> I'm okay. So, where are you? And my scotch, drinking home. You said you'd be here. I said I'd visit, like we always do. Not attend the funeral. When was the last time we f we even did that? I know, but I just thought we owe it to him after. Doctor Rosaline, we are about to start. Go on, I'll get my turn. Yeah, yeah. That's the sad thing about this job is that because uh, at the end of whenever they finish their job, the patient will be gone. Let's just say that. All right, enjoy your scotch. You know it. Now where were we? So what are you planning to do now? <laughs> oh. Ooh, not looking sketchy at all, Neil. <laughs> Just start it. I ask you to knock, not hack my lock. Switching to digital was a terrible idea. Why didn't you just keep both locks on? <laughs> Dang, nabbit Rob. I don't know why she even got you involved. <laughs> Look, we don't have long. Are you guys still in or not? You betcha. What are you guys planning with Roxy and Rob as well? So, is that the solution you were talking about? Yeah, that's her. Oh yeah, he... Oh my god. No, don't... Don't let me... Oh, <laughs> gosh darn it, game. Why you do this? Why you do this? Seriously. Yeah, that's the, 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 the chronological order if you want to experience all this thing. <laughs> Thank you for having been par a part of this. Thank you for making this game. Really, Kangao and Freebird Games. The people from Freebird Games. Yeah, shout out to you guys. And how dare you make me shed a tears. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking right now. How dare you, Kangao? How dare you make a manly man such as I cry in front of camera? That's a devastating <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but anyway, oh my god, that's ending though. Gosh. Yeah, because Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Like I said, I'm already I'm already kind of getting better. <laughs> it punched me really hard that feels, but okay, I'm I'm getting uh pretty bad. I uh, really kind of better now so uh, I can talk a little bit about this game. So uh uh yeah, that that last plus uh, last moment where uh, Neil kinda like making a backup of A. It's uh, uh, what do I want to say? <laughs> it's 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 I don't know what he's planning to do. First of all, he removed the stabilizer, and now he has fade database. And what can I know? What can I only think about it is actually Faye is gonna be the next AI for his machine or for his operating system that's all I can think of because you know Neil is the technician so you know he do all this uh, those coding and those stuff the technician always do and even he calls Roxane and tells her about his plan as well so that means that he probably cannot do it by himself so that's why he asks a help from another technician 
And, uh, yeah. And I can smell the episode 3. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. A couple more years, probably. I can see that the, the, the third episode soon or sooner or later because we end in a in a in a weird note I'd say because on the to the moon we get to see that Neil has some condition so that's why on the very paradise it even kind of said it kind of like uh, tells the player as well that Neil has some condition that's why he needs to take his painkiller and probably on the next episode they will explore that and the new machine as well which has Faye in it so I have no idea what's gonna happen really but I can smell the episode 3 coming soon mmm the juicy feels <laughs> oh boy but my god this game this game Let's give it a clap. Let's give, let's give it a pause. For Freebird Games, you do an amazing job on this type of games. Oh my god, I cannot praise this game enough. Laura Shigihara, as always, you nail the music of this game, the, the song of this game. So it's like Into the Moon. It breaks my heart every single time I hear your song about that game. And Kanga once again comes in. Uh, real smooth with those jab on the jokes, you know, and those parody. Mwah! So, so, uh, so, uh, uh pretty, uh, uh, amazing, you know, you got a lot of chuckle from me. <laughs> Even though I'm a, I'm a pretty geekly person myself, <laughs> but anyway, the, the joke is really, really great. And, uh, of course, I mean, what can I say? The feels, the writing of this game, I mean, do I need to say more? You know, yeah, manly man says I got a teary eyed, you know, it, that just said something, you know, <laughs> now. But yeah, they really did a great job on that, but uh, yeah. And they did a really, really great job on the, 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 the gameplay itself, you know, they, we got a shooting game and then we got a fighting game as well, which I have no idea how they do that, like the coding and stuff. Which I'm not a coding, I'm not a coder, or I'm not a programmer, so I have no idea what what that is. So maybe it's easy, maybe it's hard. I don't know, but all I think, all I know that it's hard to make those. Okay, <laughs> and then we get the, the turn-based stuff, uh, uh, classic RPG Maker stuff, and uh, yeah, that's uh, this improvement. And there's there's a lot. There's not a lot. There's some CG as well in it, which is really nice, really nice touch, you know, and uh, my. God, I cannot praise this game enough. <laughs> this is amazing. You guys are amazing. Oh, burp. You got burp on me as well. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so, uh, oh gosh. We can, so with this, I guess we can close this book or close this green book together with me. <laughs> together. Because we finished this game. Oh, so freaking amazing. I, oh my God. I recommend to you guys to share this game or even play it by yourself, you know? Play it again by yourself. It's really worth it, probably. Because this game, uh, there's, there's a lot of different take on this game. So maybe a, the, on the first playthrough, what I get on my this playthrough is pretty much the, the regrets that... Uh, everybody, every single person in this world have regrets that they cannot do anything about it, really. Because it's just so happen and then there's no way you can kind of make things right let's say it's a part of growing up really when say you have a chance back in the days like when you were a kid when you have a chance that say you want to be a uh, uh, like I don't know sport player like or something but you didn't take that but you just do other stuff that you that you kind of find enjoyable and when you started to grow up and you realize that this thing that you do right now is not what you really want to do or maybe this kind of you don't want to kind of feel enjoy and you just want to do some sport so that's you know that's kind of like your regrets why didn't you take sports back in when you were you had a chance but well, now it's already too late and there's no way to change it around so that's why there's a lot of people kind of have some regrets that they don't know what to do so yeah, just like Colin always said, Colin said as well, in the end of when Faye asked him, do you have any regrets? And he said, 
that he do have a lot of regrets. And uh, but you know that's what makes him him right now. So yeah. So for those of you who may have some regrets that you still kind of think about it until now, then probably this might be a good kind of advice, I guess, from the game that you know uh, just keep moving forward, I guess, and um, don't cling too hard on that regret because. Otherwise, you cannot move forward with it, and just make that regret into a stepping stone for yourself, so that you can become a better person and um, you can grow as a person. So, yeah, I hope that this kind of like giving a shed of lights to some of you who have a pretty rough regrets in your life and you don't know how to deal with it. And uh, so, my advice to you guys. So, yeah, that's like. Uh, probably for me myself as well. This is advice for myself as well. So it works both way for you and me, and for all of those people who has this experience. That uh, yeah, it's just let's just keep going strong, keep moving forward, and don't cling too hard on that regret, so that we can improve on as a person and we can be more uh, grown up and stronger. So yeah. Let's do our best, really, because in 2018, we start 2018 with a not a really good site, really, and uh, you know, with this YouTube stuff happening, and then the uh, stuff that surrounds us as well, which, you know, it's kind of making us de more depressed and stuff, because, you know, a lot of people hoping that 2018 will be the best year, uh, or at least gets better on their on their life but uh, you know let's just yeah let's just do our best to keep moving forward yeah because that's all that we can do we are alive right now so that's all we can do just keep moving forward and um, just do our best be good to other people and uh, yeah that's really that's pretty much it really that I can say well there's there's a lot of th takes on this game really but the one that hits me the most is actually that regret part because nobody in this world free from regrets. They, every single one of us, at least have one regrets in our life that we wish that we can change that. But you know, we cannot. We don't have like segment corporation in our life, so uh, probably we can become our our own segment corporation for ourselves, you know, or maybe for other people as well, you know, uh, to help them just. You know, kind of like be there for them. Like that's what we this game is kind of teaching us. Uh, Colin is a very lonely kid from when he was still a child. So it kind of what well, might take another another point is that the you know just try to be there when someone someone needs them, someone needs it. Just just be there for them and help them kind of. No, I, uh, let's just kind of hang around with them so that they don't feel lonely because you know feeling lonely is just the worst it's the worst I'm telling you so for those of you out there who are feeling lonely at the moment um, don't worry just just uh, what um, <laughs> I'm not good at words really but just uh, don't worry there are people who cares about you and um, just try to reach out to people to some people so that you can get some friends and you don't feel lonely anymore so you know because if from lonely it kind of like built up to uh, different uh, bad things in your life so yeah that's why so for those of you who have some friends who are lonely so please 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 kind of uh, be there for them just hang around with them to kind of save them from this loneliness to become their friends even better if we if you can become a f their friends and uh, yeah just 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 you know just think about other people not just think about yourself I guess what I'm can say is that that really uh, yeah I, I <laughs> I'm sorry if this doesn't make any sense to you guys but I 
I, I genuinely want to kind of reach out to those people because that's what I learned from this game. And I know this, I feel like this game is very, very relatable to our daily lives and uh, stuff. So, you know, I just, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say really uh, because It's very relatable, like I said, so uh, yeah, I feel like some of us are still going through with all this kind of stuff, so that's kind of it. That's why I kind of like uh, say all of this stuff, but maybe you guys can, at least for those of you who had this um, experience, who unpleasant experience, such as loneliness and a uh, very harsh regret that you still cling to now to at this point so I kind of want to you guys to feel like there's still hope up there so that's what I I, I I gotta say really there's still hope up there just reach out and uh, so just, just reach out so that other people know that you need some help as well so because let's get real all of us have our own stuff to think about and we are all not a psychic that can read minds and uh, understand people from was from just a one look that I was I just saw these people and I know what his problem are we are not that type of people well some people have those kind of like a uh, uh, what do you call it again uh, this this quirk no quirk whatever those those uh, sensitivity towards that that kind of things which if you have that, please, please do something to, to act, to help them so that, you know, they have some hope for themselves. So, yeah, you know, they'll kind of save their souls because, you know, some people, I feel like some people having a hard time to just asking for help from other people, which they really need it. They really need some help, but they kind of find it themselves too hard to do that. So, yeah. So just let's let's just reach our hand to them as well. If you don't uh, experience this sort of thing, just be there for them and help them in, in times they need, so that you know they they feel hope and they can help, they can cling onto the, those beautiful, tasty hope. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that we can save more people and they can live more happily. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. So I think I'm gonna I'm I'm rambling long enough at this point. So yeah, uh, visit this people, show your love to this people to the the free birds game. You know, say thank you for making all of this and uh, it's super relatable. And then maybe you can just throw some why do you make me cry or something <laughs> onto them. And uh, yeah, once again, can go and the team of from the Freebird games all the uh, back back team or I don't know the, the team who makes this game it's just applause give, give them give them guys some, some applause they just they did a fantastic job on making this game it was their storytelling and the music and of course shout out to Laura Shigihara herself as well you know he she once again make a lot of us cry which with his with her song with <laughs> this how dare you <laughs> but anyway um but anyway that's i i i'm gonna say on this really before i start rambling into two hours or something <laughs> that's not i don't want that but anyway i guess that's it for today well let me know what do you guys uh, uh learn from this game really because i'm curious because really there's a lot to learn based on this game alone because there's a lot of relatable things like the loneliness the the people that still have regrets and how they overcome it and uh, those like the, the imaginary friends that kind of help them move forward as well which wins Colin with Colin case that's really amazing though he has imaginary friend and he he can play cello he becomes a pilot because of it as well and he is a good writer so those three things are really good comes out from it so you know just let me know let me let me know maybe if you have some experience with this type of uh, situation as well I want uh, let, let, let me know so share it if you want if you don't want it because it's you know it's sensitive 
uh, topic. I, I totally understand that. But if you know, if you have some stories that you want to share with us, that leave it on the comment box below, so that probably you know some people who have this kind of situation who don't know how to overcome it can get some uh, insight on how they will they should uh, overcome it. So uh, yeah. Anyway, I guess that's for today. We can close this book, like this green book, writing in a lemon juice. <laughs> ink uh, together so uh, I'm looking forward for the, the episode 3 because I know I know they're gonna make this into episode 3 I know <laughs> but you know if they just this just they just released this game you know just take some time take, take some time to refresh themselves so you know just don't don't rush it you know so that uh, when they start to making the third episode it will be it will come with a bang it's a bam uh, with a stronger feels you know um, yeah so just for freebird games my advice is just take your time for now just settle down just just relax just just yeah just take some time to kind of refresh yourself you know because this game is pack a punch for real a punch <laughs> but anyway so I guess that's about today well uh, once again, Share this game to other people, share this video to other people, and um, uh, tweet them, uh, Facebook, and buy their games, and just spread spread this game all around so that support them as well, support, share your love, show your support to this developer, to these people, so that they can make some more amazing game in the future, yeah? For, for us to enjoy. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. I guess that's it for today. Well, we just finished this game, and uh, for those of you uh, new people who stumbled across this uh, video, um, I highly suggest and recommend you to click that subscribe button down there because you know <laughs> it helps. It helps to make this channel big uh, growth and as well. And uh, thank you so much for checking this video as well, taking your time to uh, checking this video because I you know it's a fairly long uh, video as well, an hour if you stick sticking around until this point then you guys are the MVP <laughs> I go through all my ramble and stuff and uh, yeah thank you so much so if you you know for first time knowing this channel please if you enjoyed this episode please click that subscribe button just just one click just one click okay just don't double click it because if you double click it it's gonna be unsubscribed in the year. So just, uh, one click is enough okay? <laughs> and uh, yeah and if you interested in what kind of uh, game or maybe what kind of video I'm gonna make in the future so you know if you're interested and enjoy this content and you know I will so I will be so so thankful and grateful if you do that you know to subscribe and uh, for those of you who already subscribed to this channel don't forget don't forget to click that bell button besides the uh, subscribe button there because YouTube just be YouTube, you know. Sometimes they didn't show your show my video on your subscription feed, so that if you click that a bell button, you're gonna get notified, you know, so that you won't miss any video that I'm gonna make in the future. So yeah, I guess that's it. So thank you so so much for all the support, all the uh, yeah the, all the support that you guys gave watching the entire series together with me and I hope I hope I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I do and I hope you guys cried as well <laughs> I don't know what I said but anyway uh, yeah um, I guess that's for today well I'm gonna see you guys on the next uh, series I guess so uh, I guess that's it for today well thank you guys so much for watching thank you for coming thank you for having fun together with me spread love spread the fun and I'll see you guys in the next series see ya